Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So we are heading to Sock today, which is not far from here, to try out Garmin's Smart Glide. Garmin has just released version 8.91 of the G3X Touch software, and that supports their new Smart Glide functionality. So we're going to fly over there and enable Smart Glide in a couple of different configurations and see what that looks like. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so we are in the air heading towards Sock. You'll notice a couple of different changes here that uh, from the previous version. The ring, the glide ring, is now a double ring. Whoops. It's now a double ring. And this indicates that Smart Glide is available and it will engage the autopilot. If the ring was a solid cyan ring, solid blue ring, it means you're too low to engage the autopilot. Um, or for some other reason, it will not engage the autopilot if you hit the rest too. Um, when we hit the uh, smart glide, you'll notice that the ring is going to turn yellow. Okay, so here's our first scenario. There are no airports inside my glide ring. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the direct to button, hold it down, hold for smart glide. Smart glide active. No airports within glide range. Notice. It called out no airports in glide range. It's pitching me up to 83, which is my best glide. The ring has turned yellow. The autopilot is engaged. Level and glide 83. Because I actually have power in, it's climbing like crazy. <laughs> but if it if I didn't have power in, it would just pitch me up and let me sink at best glide. So right now I'm pitched up at 15 degrees until 83, and then it's going to level off and hold 83. I really should have some right rudder in. Look at that. All right, let's reset and do scenario number two. All right, scenario number two. We're at 3,000 feet, about 100 knots, and we have just passed Sock Prairie. Uh, Sock Prairie is inside the ring, so we are going to enable Smart Glide and see what it does. Smart Glide active. Airport. Five o'clock. Two miles. Turning towards Sock, setting, pitching for an 83 knot glide. Let's see what it says. So it has picked up the METAR over ADSB for Devil's Lake, which is four miles uh, north-ish of here and has decided that runway 36 at Sauk is our best bet, which makes sense. There's the option to squawk 7700 and tune 21.5. Notice that it has already put 21.5 in my standby here. So let's watch it do its thing. I do have a little bit of power in. I'm going to pull that power. Zoom in. Notice how the ring has turned yellow. Sorry for the lens aberrations here. Let's see if that helps. Yep. And we're descending at about 500 feet per minute because I'm at 13% power and it's trying to hold 83 knots. See, it's pitching down a little bit now to compensate. I do have a bit of a tailwind here. You know, glide, 9-1 Charlie, runway 36. Sock traffic, Iron Victor is one mile to west, simulator engine out, runway 36, Sock. So we're getting pretty close to 3.6. We are, what is the, it's 800 feet-ish. So we're not quite at pattern altitude yet. I do see sock out the window. Maneuver and land. Disconnect. Autopilot. Look at that. It believes we are close enough to make the decision here. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna see what happens. There we go. It passed. Sock and is making a left turn. Sock traffic helicopter zero Delta Papa. We are just north of the field. We have you in sight. We'll stay out of your way. And sock traffic, Nairn Victor. Simulate engine out. Runway 36. Sock, let us know if uh, we're getting your way. Yeah, no worries. We're off to the southwest now. Alright, so I'm going to disengage the autopilot and land the airplane.
1,000. Suck traffic, 9 remember me, Victor, entering a left downwind, 3-6, suck. The helicopter's a little close, she's a thousand, she's a thousand feet above. Yep, directly above us. Glide active. Airport. Seven o'clock. Two miles. So it has engaged the glide mode. I'm going to pull back power because it believes the engine is out. It'll work fine without the engine out, but it's just going to climb us like crazy. Hartford traffic. Nyrum Victor simulated engine out. And it is turning us towards the airport. You see that? It's now managed to hit about 83 knots, which is our best glide. And we're turning towards Hartford. You can see Hartford right there. Let's zoom in a little here. There we go. And it's going to fly us to Hartford and then circle the airport as it descends. And then it's going to start making callouts. So remember. If you touch the glide button, you get information about what's going on here. I don't have the power all the way out, so it's having some trouble descending. There we go. You, the option to squawk 7700, tune 215. Information on Hartford. Hard surface, it's selected runway 27. Winds are calm. And there we go, we're flying towards 27. Hartford traffic, Niagara Victor, simulated engine out. Uh, heading for runway 27 at Hartford. Maneuver and land. Disconnect. Autopilot. So, see that? It's telling us we are now pretty close to the ground. And we should take over. <laughs> Disengage the autopilot, take over. So, I'm going to stop this video, and you'll watch from above. One thousand. Caution. Obstacle. A little bumpy. Caution. Terrain. Yeah. Hartford traffic, Nara 
picture. Let's Caution. see. It's 2 7. Simulated ahead. now at Hartford. Caution. Terrain ahead. Lots of call outs here. 500. Doctor Traffic 9, Victor, turning final 2 7. Terrain. Hartford. And we're high. Watch the speed. Still high. Still high. Still high. And there we are on the ground using Garmin Smart Glide. It is really impressive how it's selecting airports, making the, the calls for you to let you know sort of what it's doing and uh, circling down to land. Uh, really, really interesting tech, and uh, I'm sure it's going to help people out. Thanks for watching, as usual. Uh, we're making videos as, as often as we can. Uh, some of you may have noticed that we have uh, created the YouTube membership program. So there is one or two behind the scenes videos up there for members only. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that or interested in supporting the channel, uh, please take a peek. Um, the uh, member levels are really low. I think I have a $1, a $5. And then for those of you really looking to help, there's a $25 one. <laughs> and uh, we're getting more cameras. Uh, I'm looking at getting a 360 camera and Flightflix has already gotten us a mount for that 360 camera. So uh, I'm just sourcing the camera now and then we'll have some fun videos there. Thanks as usual. We'll talk soon.